because there was none like it, nor shall be like it any more. But against any of the children of Israel, not a dog shall move its tongue, neither against man or beast, that you may know that the Lord differentiates between Israel and between Israel. And all these thy servants shall go, shall come down to me, and bow down themselves to me, saying, Get thee gone, and all thy people follow thee. And after that I will go out, and he went out from Paro in great anger. The Lord said to Moshe, Paro shall not hearken to you, that my words may be multiplied in the land of misery. And Moshe and Aharon did all these wonders before Paro, and the Lord hardened Paro's heart, so that he would not let the children of Israel out go out of his land. And the Lord spoke to Moshe and Aharon in the land of misery, saying, this month shall be to you in the beginning of months, it shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak to all the congregation of Israel, saying, On the tenth of day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb according to his house of their fathers, a lamb for a house, and of a household, be children for a lamb. Let him and his neighbor next to his house take it according to the number of the souls. According to every man's eating shall you make your account for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male the first year. You shall take it from the sheep. Or from the goats, and you shall keep it until the fourteenth day of the same month, and the whole assembly of the congregation of the same month, the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it towards evening, and they shall take the blood and put it on the two side posts on the upper door of the post of the house, in which they shall eat it, and they shall eat the meat in the night, roast of fire, and unleaven bread, with bitter herbs, they shall eat it, not eat not of it raw, nor boil it at all in water but roast the fire its head with its legs and its entrails, and you shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remains of it until the morning you shall burn the fire, and thus shall you eat it, with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your sack in your hand, and you shall eat it in haste, and it is the Lord's Passover, for I will pass through the land of Miserim this night, and will smite all the first one in the land of Miserim, of man and beast, and against all the gods of Israel, I will execute judgment, I am the Lord, and the blood shall be to you, for I have spoken upon the house is where you are, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you, and I smite the land of Israel. This day shall be to you for a memorial, and you shall keep it a feast of the Lord. Perhaps your generation shall you keep it a feast by ordinance forever. Seven days shall you eat unleavened bread, and on the first day you shall have put away leaven out of your houses. For whoever eats leaven bread from the first day until the seventh day, that soul shall be cut off from Israel. And on the first day there shall be a holy gathering, and on the seventh day there shall be a holy gathering to you. No man of work shall be done upon them, save that which every person must eat, that only may be done by you. And you shall observe the commandment of unleavened bread. For on this very day have I brought your repose to the land of Mizraim.